up you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today i am finally back with a new video it's been a while i think it's been like almost a month since i actually sat down to film which it feels like a really really long time i've been very eager to kind of get back into things so if you guys might have noticed i am in a new room i did recently move which has taken me a lot longer to unpack and kind of get settled in which is why i've been gone for a little while but i am planning on doing a video kind of giving you guys a tour of the space how i have things organized this is the first some I've ever had kind of like a beauty room and even though this is a really small space I am so excited like it's just bringing me so much inspiration and I've been having a lot of fun just kind of getting everything put together and now I have like a space for all of my things and it doesn't feel so cluttered to have it all in my bedroom so I think I'm going to film that video today that way you guys can maybe like get some ideas for like how to organize things because I know I was looking around a lot of different places comparing different things to store my body care products and I didn't want things to feel like too cluttered but I also wanted things to be like very easy to find. I don't know I'm not gonna ramble on too much about that I'll talk about it in the other video but today's video basically I have a huge collective Bath and Body Works haul. I feel like did I just do one of these? I'm pretty sure I did because they released another collection for their like spring collection not too long ago and I wasn't super impressed with that one so when I heard that there's gonna be new scents coming out I wasn't sure how to feel but this collection definitely made up for the last one. It's kind of kicking off summer. A lot of like sweet fruity scents and just things I'm very very excited about. We're gonna get into all the new stuff, my thoughts, different sale that they've had recently that I definitely wanted to take advantage of and yeah I have about four different bags to go through so a lot of new stuff. But real quick before we get started if you guys are new here I'd love to have you subscribe. Make sure to hit that post notification down below that way you guys will be notified whenever I post new videos. Now that I am moved in I will definitely get back into the swing of things and start posting more frequently. But yeah that's enough rambling let's go ahead and get into it. Okay I think we should just get into like the most exciting bag of things that I have here which is all the new body care. That's usually the things that I'm most excited to see and they have brought back some new scents that well not new but just like old retired discontinued scents that we haven't seen for a while. Bath and Body Works finally heard us because these are scents that I think a lot of us who like love sweet and gourmand scents, these are the ones that I know for sure I was like really excited to see and I have always wanted to try. So let's just start off with one of the scents that they brought back that I was most excited for and that is Beach Nights. So Beach Nights is a scent that they used to bring back like every year up until like a few years ago and then it just just disappeared so I never actually got a chance to try it whenever it was out I did order the lotion once off Macari like I think it was sometime last year but I don't know if the lotion I got was bad but something just smelled off about that lotion so I didn't want to base my opinion just around that and I wanted to get a fresh new set that way I can try it out for myself this is like a toasted marshmallow scent and I love marshmallow scent so obviously like I was really excited about this one I don't know why I'm like losing my voice like I feel fine but I had kind of had allergies so I feel like my voice is probably going to be going in and out throughout this video. But the packaging for Beach Nights, it actually reminds me a lot of Sunset Glow. If you guys remember that one from last year. I do like it. Like it's pretty simple. But overall like it's pretty cute packaging. And I just went ahead and ordered the body cream even though I hadn't even smelled it. I was just... I was just too excited I had to get them both. The notes for this is toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores accord, beach driftwood, and creamy vanilla. So the toasted marshmallow note, I mean that's what I was like most excited to try. So I did watch a couple videos of like the new releases. I didn't want to watch too many because I wanted to just kind of form my own opinion. But one of the things that I heard mentioned about this scent is it's supposed to be similar to vanilla rainbow sprinkles, which was a scent I think it came out last year, maybe even the year before. I found mine at the Bath & Body Works outlet. I don't think it was ever actually released in the US. It was like a Canada exclusive, but it somehow kind of ended up in some Bath & Body Works outlet stores. So I was able to pick that up. I was really excited about that one, but to be honest, I thought it smelled like stale rainbow sprinkles. Like it had this weird stale like smell to it it just I don't know what exactly it was because typically I love like sweet vanilla scents like that but there was just something off about that one that I wasn't really crazy about so when I heard that it was similar to Beach Nights like it kind of turned me off a little bit but I decided to give it a try anyways and I don't know if it's because I heard that. I can definitely see where people are saying that it's similar to that scent because I get that same kind of like stale vanilla-like smell to it. 
I can for sure smell the marshmallow. It's definitely like a more warm toasted marshmallow. Not really similar to Bonfire Bash because Bonfire Bash is more of like a smoky, woody. You get a lot of like this like smoking kind of like burning wood smell mixed in with the marshmallow scent. I don't even think marshmallow is like one of the notes, but that's kind of how it ends up smelling. This is basically like Bonfire Bash if you take out that more like smoky note in there, but there's still like something else. It's definitely more of like a beachy scent. It does have this kind of like salty, beachy smell to it. It definitely is still very sweet. I do think I actually prefer this scent in the Body Mist, which usually, especially with like sweet gourmand scents, I like it more in the body cream just because it's even more sweet. But I want to say the body cream is giving me more of that like vanilla sprinkle like smell. Yeah, there's just like something I'm a little bit unsure about and I'm just like a little bit underwhelmed. I don't know, there's like something about it that I'm not 100% on board with, but I will definitely be holding on to this because this was a scent that I wanted to have in my collection for such a long time, and I have a lot of perfumes with a marshmallow note, so I feel like I can make it work with other things I have in my collection. Like I know a lot of the Ariana Grande perfumes have a marshmallow note. So I can already think of a few things that I can mix around with this. So I'm gonna be playing around with a little bit more, but I'm curious because I feel like it's a very unpopular opinion. I know a lot of people like love beach nights, but I'm curious to know if anyone else kind of feels the same way. But that's kind of my first impression of that one, which I'm slightly disappointed just because you know, I just, I guess I hyped it up so much in my head because I heard so many great things about it that I was a little disappointed by it. Okay, now the next scent I got, which by the way, all of these I got during the buy three, get three sale. And during that time, they actually had a sale where if you spent $10, you got a free three wick candle, which that is an amazing deal. I could not pass this up. So I ended up placing like several different orders. I ended up getting four free candles, which is amazing because I don't like spending a lot of candles. So I took advantage and picked up some new body care and I got some free candles along with it. So most of these I did end up getting the matching body cream too. I didn't really get like full sets of everything, but I do usually like to have like a matching lotion or body cream. So this is another new scent and this is Pink Watermelon Blast. I saw a little post about it on Instagram and it just sounded so, so good. This has notes of juicy pink watermelon, sugared strawberry blossoms, and lime zest. I do like watermelon scents, but I'm not a fan of like all watermelon scents. They have to be done right. I did try the pink, I think it was just called Pink Watermelon. It came out last year. Maybe it was like early this year for one of the sales, like Body Care Day or a semi-annual sale. But I wasn't really into that one, mainly because of the aloe note. It just had this like watery, like fresh note mix in there with the watermelon. I don't know, it was giving me like a cucumber vibe kind of, which I do not like cucumber scents. I wasn't sure if this is just gonna be like a repackage of that, but in my opinion, they are totally different. This smells like watermelon candy. If you felt the same way about pink watermelon, and you wanted something like very candy-like and sweet, this is the scent. Like it is juicy, it is very sugary sweet, but it also has this kind of like sweet, almost like sour note to it because of the lime, to where it smells more of like a Sour Patch Kid candy, like the watermelon ones. That's what this smells like to me. It almost kind of like makes my mouth water because it is such like a juicy, sweet, almost sour scent. And I just think this is perfect for summertime. Like the mix of the juicy watermelon with the sugared strawberry, you would think like you just opened a bag of like sweet gummy candy. So I am so happy I got a matching body cream. I don't think the body cream is 100% necessary depending on like what other watermelon scents you might already have. I think you could definitely use like the Tree Hut Body Butter, like the watermelon one, because that one smells like watermelon candy. You can easily pair that with this. And another scent it actually reminded me of is Watermelon Splash from Bodycology. That just smells like straight up watermelon candy. So if you don't like the like more sour lime note in there, just go for the Bodycology because it's basically this minus the lime note, it's just straight up like a sugared, juicy, sweet watermelon scent. I have already worn this one. I think I paired it with one of my Escada perfumes because those are like super fruity and sweet. You can literally pair this with like any fruity scent, I think, and it is gonna be perfect for summer. And honestly, the packaging on this collection is adorable in my opinion. Like I love the packaging for all the body creams. I just think it looks so cute. This whole collection is just full of like sweet and fruity scents. So they did bring back a few scents that we saw last year. One of 
those scents is Berry Waffle Comb, which I didn't end up getting this year because I do already have a backup set from last year, so I didn't feel the need to get like a whole new one. Berry Waffle Comb was like one of those scents where you either loved it or hated it because it is such a strong, sweet, like heavy gourmand scent. It smells exactly like Captain Crunch Berries in my opinion, like that cereal. Like, I really can't explain it any other way. That's exactly what it smells like to me, but I think it's really great to layer with because it is such a good strong scent. So on me, it's actually very long lasting. I feel like if you like scents like blueberry sugar pancakes or raspberry jam donut, you would probably like berry waffle cone because it kind of fits in that same family and it's more of like a summertime version of those scents. Another one that we saw come back and I decided to give this one another try mainly because everybody was posting on Instagram and let me tell you guys, I was not a fan of this one last year. I tried it out for the first time then and I just... I couldn't get on board with this scent. So here I am trying it again. And that is Firecracker Pop. Basically, this is like a super sweet cherry scent. Last year, a lot of people were saying it smelled like cherry popsicles or like a cherry candy. And for me, I was just getting more of this like cherry medicine like smell, which I was not a fan of. But I definitely think in the body cream, it smells the best. This is actually what I started off with the first time. And then I ended up placing a second order. And then I got the matching fragrance mist. That way I can kind of try them out side by side again. But I will for sure be keeping the body cream because I can find different ways to make this work with other fragrances. So this has notes of red cherry, fresh citrus, and juicy berry. You know, actually, I don't get much of the citrus. To me, this is just like straight up cherries and like a little bit of berries. It's very juicy. It's very sweet and candy-like, but it's not one of those scents that you can wear like all the time. You know, we have those scents that you don't really have to think about and you can wear over and over again. This, in my opinion, is not one of those. Like, I would reserve this one for only to use during the summertime and I could only probably get away with wearing it every now and then just because it's just, it's such a unique scent. It's very different than other scents I have in my collection. And it's just, it's so sweet. I just, I wouldn't be able to use it all the time. So I will definitely be good with just this one like body cream and maybe the fragrance mist if I decide to hold on to it. But I am definitely liking it more than I did last year. So I would say if you didn't like this scent, maybe give it another shot. Like if you have a chance, go in stores. And I think it smells the best in the body cream. It's just sweeter. I'm getting more of that like cherry popsicle scent that everyone was talking about last year that I was kind of missing. So I'm not 100% on board with the fragrance mist, but for sure the body cream I am enjoying. Okay, so this next one here is probably up there with Beach Nights as one of the scents that everyone wanted to see come back. Like it was always very talked about. I know whenever I was first getting into Bath & Body Works, this was a scent that I kept hearing about and I ended up ordering it for myself off Macari because it had already been discontinued at that point and they finally brought it back. That scent is Confetti Cake Pop. I think it came out for like a fall collection a couple years ago and they brought it back. They just renamed it, but it's the same exact scent notes and that is Vanilla Confetti Sparkle. So it has like a little cute little cake pop here on the front has notes of creamy cake frosting, rainbow sprinkles, and vanilla bean. So I have been a huge fan of this scent, mainly because it's so perfect to layer with. Like, if you love sweet gourmand scents, this is a good one to have in your collection because you can literally just pair it with anything. If you have a fruity scent and you want to make it more gourmand, you can just pair it with this. I don't know, even some more like deeper scents. Like I saw recently just Kayla Michelle, she was pairing confetti cake pop with Into the Night and that kind of made this like raspberry cake like smell. So you can literally transform like any scent that you have into a gourmand with something like this. So that's why I really like like having this one in my collection and I was just gonna get the body mist of this one because I do already have body creams of confetti cake pop but I just I couldn't help myself so I did get one of the body creams and I also got it in the shower gel because I've never had confetti cake pop in the shower gel and I tried this out in store and it smells Oh my gosh, it smells delicious. You get more of the frosty note in the shower gel, which I absolutely love. So I'm really happy to finally have this because I've been always wanting to try it. I feel like when it comes to like sweet gourmand scents, they always smell the best in the shower gels and then the body creams. I don't know, in those two forms, they're just always the sweetest. So I love the fact that it smells more of like vanilla frosting. And this scent, if you've never tried Confetti Cake Pop, this basically 
smells like vanilla cake batter. It's a very warm, sweet vanilla scent. It almost has a little bit of like a buttery note to it. So it's very gourmand. It literally smells like a bakery. That's like the best way I can describe it. I will say I haven't like really put them to the test side by side. I just quickly sprayed like one on each wrist whenever I first got it. And it does seem a little bit lighter compared to Confetti Cake Pop. But still, if you've always wanted to try it for yourself, now is the time to get it. Um, or you could always wait to the semi-annual sale starting next month. I'm sure they're going to have a ton of these for like a really good price. But I just couldn't wait. I was just so excited about this one. And even though it's like a lighter version of Confetti Cake Pop, it's still like very, very similar. Again, the packaging, adorable, it has like little cake pops all over the body cream. And, you know, did I need a full set? I mean, I know for sure I at least needed the shower gel, but the body cream I probably could have done without, but I just... I don't know. I got really excited about this collection. I definitely wanted to just get like a full set of that. Now the last one that I got the matching body cream and mist to was another new scent and I'm pretty sure this is going to be part of like the new like signature collection because they have it like in literally every form. I'm pretty sure they're going to have a perfume. They have the candles. Do they have like hand soaps? I don't know. It's like a full display whenever I saw it in stores and that is a summer medley and this I think it came out maybe like a couple weeks ago. It was like right before all the new stuff launched. And this is Golden Honeydew and Bronze Vanilla. So first I just got the Fragrance Mist. I actually did have a couple rewards that I was able to redeem. So I want to try this one out because I've just been seeing it pop up everywhere. And the scent notes are very simple. I mean, I'm sure there's other notes in there. But um, I wasn't really familiar with like a honeydew note. And... To me, this just smells more of like a tropical fruity drink. It's very warm and sweet at the same time. I don't know, like when I smell it, I think it smells good, but it's nothing that's like really wowing me. I'm kind of like right there in the middle, but I'm still happy to have it. I can probably find other ways to like wear this one. I think the bronze vanilla just adds a little bit more of like this warm, like sweet vanilla scent, but I wouldn't say it's like a gourmand. It's still like very tropical and fruity and like slightly juicy. Um, to me, it just smells more of like a fruity like cocktail or drink, but without that like bubbly note, which is nice to see. Because I am starting to like like more like bubbly, kind of like fizzy drinks, but I don't like it like in every single like new scent that comes out. So I am happy about that. Um, I do think it smells even better in the body cream. So I was able to try this one in stores. And after I got the fragrance mist, I decided just to pick up the body cream because I did place two orders of the buy three, get three. But I also had some rewards. It kind of was like worth it. Plus to get like the free candle. Yeah, the body cream is like very juicy and sweet. Even more so than in the fragrance mist. Like I get a lot more, I guess, of the honeydew. It just smells more of like a tropical fruity cocktail. So I do think this one smells good. I don't know. For some reason, I'm just kind of like meh about it. It's nothing that's I'm really like crazy about or as excited about as some of the other scents. But there was another collection. I'm not sure exactly like all these collection names. But there were a couple scents from this other collection that were repackages that we saw from last year. I saw Midnight Swim came back, which I did purchase last year during the semi-annual sale. No, I think it was right before the semi-annual sale. It was sometime last year during the summertime, and then they also brought back Sea Salt and Lavender, which I did try for the first time last year. Wasn't a big fan. I didn't even try it again this year, so I'm not sure like if I would feel like any different about it now. I do like lavender scents more than I did last year, but I still don't know if I would like really like that one. So the main one that caught my attention is the new scent in Golden Ocean Pearl. And basically I saw a lot of comments about this being more of like a unisex scent. I also only got this one in the body lotion. It has notes of bergamot breeze, vanilla orchid, and golden amber. So after smelling this one for myself, I can agree where I can see where people are saying it's more like a unisex scent. It definitely has more of this like perfume like vibe to it. I get a lot of the amber for sure. Like that's something something that I immediately smell right away. But it's still like very like summery and just like slightly sweet. The vanilla in there is not like a overly sweet like gourmand vanilla at all. It's just still like very light and very airy. I did have my boyfriend smell this one on me because I tested it out in stores first and he actually really liked this scent. He likes more of these like ambery perfume like scents. I might 
go back and get the matching fragrance mist just because I think this would be really good to wear just for like every day. I feel like this is one of those scents you can get away with wearing to work because it's nothing too overpowering. So I do like this one, but I don't think it's going to be for everyone. Okay, now this next bag here, I actually got, well, I got some of these the other day whenever I was doing the buy three, get three, but they also had a sale on the aromatherapy stuff like a little over a week ago. So I did pick up some of the new products from the new aromatherapy line, which is the Aroma Oasis. And I got all the new body creams. I did not expect to get all of these because I am not the biggest fan of the aromatherapy line. Like it's okay, but I guess more recently it started to appreciate a little bit more for like those like self-care days whenever you're like really going the extra mile if you had a stressful day I think those products are actually like very relaxing and nice to use before bed and this is basically like aromatherapy but make it like a little bit tropical like they're very different than other scents that I've tried the first one that really caught my attention is this one and it's the pineapple lime eucalyptus and even down to the packaging I just think it looks so pretty and there's something about the formula of the aromatherapy body creams I don't know is it any different I don't know how different they actually are compared to the regular body creams but there's something about these that just make my skin feel extra soft so I wanted to try these out and I have already worn this one and it smells so good it does have that like eucalyptus smell mixed in there but with the pineapple and lime it's such like a unique twist to anything else that I have in my collection for me it's one of those scents that I could put this on before bed but I could also just put it on like first thing in the morning because there's something like very bright and like uplifting about this scent but it also still just like feels like so relaxing because of the eucalyptus in there to me this one smells really good I wouldn't make this like one of my everyday like going out type of scents but if you're just kind of like relaxing at home this is going to be really nice to use during the summertime. I actually ended up pairing this with Salted Pineapple from Ulta Beauty. I actually recently did a video on the entire like Ulta Beauty like body care line. That's like the Salted Pineapple with the Pineapple and Lime. I just think like that combination worked really well together. And the other two I got actually I didn't expect to like these as much as I do. Next one is Sandalwood, Eucalyptus, and Mandarin. And the packaging for this is really pretty as well. I just think it looks so tropical. Tropical. Like these I would like to display like over on my nightstand somewhere near my bed that way I can remember to use all of these but this one I get a lot of the sandalwood for sure I do like sandalwood scents so that was like a win for me I am getting a mix with like the eucalyptus but I think the main note that I'm getting is sandalwood and this is such like a calming relaxing scent like this is perfect to use at night if I were to like use these at a specific time of day I would start my morning off with this one and then use this one at night that's kind of like more of the vibe that these are giving me but of course you know you can use them whenever if you love sandalwood scents and you want something a little bit more like calming and relaxing to use before bed this is that type of scent but the mandarin is just giving it that little bit of like a fruity scent to it to where it kind of tones down a little bit of like the sandalwood and eucalyptus and the last one here which is probably the one that surprised me the most and this one is hibiscus mandarin and violet i am not a fan of hibiscus i don't know what it is but for whatever reason, hibiscus just like usually throws off a fragrance for me. At first, I wasn't even going to bother like trying this one out in stores, but I actually gave this one a chance and I was like, wait a second. Like this actually smells really good. So the blend of like hibiscus and violet, it's like this like floral, almost kind of like powdery floral. But again with the mandarin, it just makes it a little bit brighter. I wouldn't say this is like like a fruity sweet scent you're getting a lot of the florals it's more like a powdery floral because of the violet i'm pretty sure like violet is like more of like a powdery floral scent at least that's what i'm getting i would say probably out of all of these this one leans a little bit more like mature and feminine but not in a bad way so i hope nobody like takes it in a bad way because obviously i do like this scent um i definitely getting more of like a nighttime vibe from this one for some reason but yeah i think all of these kind of like smell good in their own way i don't think they're going to be for everyone for sure especially if you're not really into the aromatherapy line i don't really plan on using these much as like my other like body care to wear like out during the day or like out for like a date night or something but when i'm just kind of relaxing here at home those are the scents that i would like to go for I just think they were very unique compared to other aromatherapy scents so surprisingly I did really like those so I did pick up a couple of the sprays also from aromatherapy and these I definitely don't purchase very often just because I don't know I don't really like find myself using these very much so I do only have 
just a couple of these in my collection. You can actually use these as like regular body sprays or you can use them as like a room spray or a pillow mist, which is really nice. I ended up getting the pineapple lime eucalyptus mist and it is with vitamin E and aloe. You can just use this all over your body like a regular body mist. You just want to avoid using it on your face. I will probably keep this one in my bedroom like near my vanity. That way I can remember to use it at night. And the other one that I got is another newish scent and this is cacao rose. This I got because I do already have the body cream and I was excited about this scent because I love whipped rose latte. That is one of my favorite scents. I did not expect to like that one as much as I do but I'm putting like a good dent in that scent because I wore it several times to work. It's just a really nice like work scent. It's very very long lasting on me especially on my clothes. Like I can literally smell it on me at the end of the day so that's very impressive for a body mist. It smells like an actual perfume and this one I won't say is like an exact dupe to whipped rose latte. It is similar, I would say more similar in the body cream. In the mist, I'm getting more of like a rose water. I guess between the two, I would probably prefer the body cream, but this is another one of those scents that I got in with my like three for three. So I technically got this one for free. But yeah, something about those like creamy rose scents, I've really, really been liking. I placed two orders of the buy three, get three. And so I got two candles along with that order. And then I wanted to get like a couple more candles. So I did place a couple more orders, like just a couple like small things to reach that $10 threshold to get the free candle. So I did get a couple little minis and this is one that I actually been wanting. Now I was seeing a lot of people post this one because it has been out for a little while now. Like I know some stores got it pretty early, but this is Frosted Vanilla Happy Birthday and this actually first got released last year and I remember I was like stalking Bath and Body Works stores to try to find it because I just wanted to get my hands on it so bad but it ended up only being like certain test stores that got it. I never found it in any stores around me. They finally released it to everyone and basically it smells like Mary Cookie but it smells like a really good version of Mary Cookie. I don't know if they're like exactly, exactly the same, but for sure whenever I spray it, that's what it reminds me of. I haven't even had a chance to like smell them side by side. I really liked Mary Cookie, so I'm not like totally mad about it. Although I would have liked to see like a vanilla frosting scent or something like that because it is called Frosted Vanilla. And then I just threw one of these into my order. These are always like my go-to items. Like anytime I need to meet like a certain price point to get like, whether it be like free shipping or like a discount Discount. These are the items that I always like to go for and they're just like little pocket back holders for a dollar fifty So these two together I was able to get the free candle and then I also place another order where I picked out one of the new lip glosses And this is called bonfire s'mores. It just looks so cute and these are regular price 850 as well Which I would never usually pay like this price for a lip gloss, but because there was like a free candle involved, I decided to get this one now. And I just got another one of the like glittery pocket back holders. So that brings us to our last bag here, which is my four candles that I picked up. And you guys, I'm not like a candle expert. I mean, I have a few Bath and Body Works candles, and in my opinion, they are like some of the best candles that I have tried. Like they are super strong. They almost always like fill up my entire house or like my room. There were a few scents that I had my eye on and this is like me splurging. It has to be a candle that I really, really want or like during candle day. Otherwise, you know, I just, I don't like spending a lot of money on candles. So I definitely took advantage and got a couple that I've been eyeing. So this one is a sprinkled birthday cake and this one I plan on just keeping here in my room and it just fits in with my theme because I have a lot of like little pink things around my room. And this has notes of rainbow sprinkles, whipped vanilla frosting, and fluffy cake. Basically what I've heard, and I can agree, this is kind of like the confetti cake pop version of candles. It smells so good. It literally smells like vanilla cake and like a little bit of frosting. It smells very sweet, but it does smell like a little bit light on cold, so I'm curious to see how it's actually going to burn. The other one I got is another new scent. This is Ice Lemon Pound Cake. I love sweet gourmand lemon scents. Like this needs to be in body care. It smells so good. This has notes of sugary glaze icing, pure lemon zest, and fluffy pound cake and whipped cream. This literally smells like an ice lemon pound cake. Like those ones that you get from Starbucks. I get those all the time and it just smells so good. It's very warm and sweet but still like a little bit 
like zesty and tart because of the little lemon but overall a very like gourmand scent and my boyfriend actually doesn't like when i get like gourmand like sweet candles he's not really into that so i always have to burn them whenever like i'm alone or i'll be burning them like here in this room because he's not really like big on those like sweeter scents i did get two other ones that he actually really likes as well that way we can burn like out in the living area and this first one is ocean driftwood which i'm pretty sure is a new scent or it might not be new Probably not, but the packaging and whatnot, I guess, was just released. This has notes of beachside oak, sunwashed mahogany, and ocean lavender. Basically, any of those like mahogany, teak wood, like oak like scents is the kind of scents that he likes. And this smells like a men's cologne. It smells so, so good. I actually really like these type of candles also. So, that I will definitely be burning in my living room. The last one that I got is vanilla centel, and this has notes of vanilla woods, fresh moss, and centel. And this smells so good i hadn't smelled either one of these like i just did like an online order i'm very pleasantly surprised i'm not really getting much of the vanilla it's just more like this like fresh kind of like woody smell and usually those scents are like pretty strong so i'm excited to use those um out like in the kitchen and living room area i think that completes like this huge massive haul yeah this was like a lot of new things i just I got so excited. I definitely wanted to take advantage of the sale. So I usually like to do like some type of like ranking. I don't know if I'm going to put all of these in order. Maybe I'll do like my top two favorites and my least two. I don't know. We'll see. As far as like the new scents, I think probably I really like the Pink Watermelon Blast. This one smells really good in my opinion. If you're into like more of those fruity, sweet, candy-like scents, then I think you will like this one. It's really perfect for summertime. Very juicy and sweet. So I would say out of like all like the brand new scents that's probably the most exciting for me i'm still kind of having some mixed reviews on beach nights so i don't know i'm really curious to know your guys's opinion on this one like if you absolutely love it if you're kind of like feeling the same way as me if you're like unsure about it definitely let me know because i always like to hear like other people's takes on like scents because sometimes it can kind of help me see it in a different way or maybe that there's something that you like to mix it with I can give that a try I'm not like completely disappointed but I'm just like a little bit unsure about it at the moment I'm still pretty excited about the vanilla confetti sparkle for like layering purposes I think it's perfect for that in my opinion this one smells really good very warm and sweet and I'm really excited about firecracker pop especially in the body cream like I missed out on this last year so I'm definitely going to try to mix and match it with other things I don't know I have a few other like cherry fragrance mist and perfume so I can definitely pair it along with something like that but the packaging it just it's so adorable I could not pass this up and again this candle the ice lemon pound cake like this just smells so so good I cannot wait to burn this one this needs to be at least in like a body wash or like a shower gel because I know that would smell amazing but I would love it in like a full body care line but yeah overall a lot of things that I do enjoy I definitely am liking this new launch more than the last one so I'm excited to see all the new things that are going to be coming out over the next like few weeks or so especially for a semi-annual sale there is like a whole line of different scents coming out I don't know if you guys have seen them over on Instagram but there's going to be like a creamsicle like an orange creamy scent coming out that looks like it's going to smell amazing there's also a bubble gum scent it just I don't know it's getting me really excited for some annual sale we'll definitely be doing some hauls during that time but I think I'm going to be good for now yeah that's my thoughts on the new collection if you guys have tried any of these new things definitely let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more videos like this make sure to give this video a thumbs up it definitely helps on my channel and helps on my videos whenever you do so i really appreciate it whenever you guys do that and if you had not subscribed make sure to hit that subscribe button down below turn on your post notifications that way you guys will get notified whenever i post new videos as always thank you all so so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye